Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Taurus. How are you guys? Hope you're all doing well. Thanks for dropping in. I did put singles readings up on Monday. You can check those out in my playlist if you haven't already. Hopefully there's a message there for you. Taurus. See what your overall energy is. Taurus, overall energy surrounding Taurus. This is your love life, finance, career, friends or family. Take it however it resonates for you. Discovery. Okay. Taurus. Two more. Milestone and intentions. Ooh, maybe about to reach a milestone. There's some kind of movement here. You may have somebody who wants to get to know you more. Make sure you discover this person's intentions, playing it safe. Very nice. I like the, the milestones. I like the event. There's going to be uh, some kind of event take place here. You may even get an invitation from someone who wants to get to know you more. May, they may want to date you. Nice energy. If you are going to an event, I can see you playing it safe in some way. If there's movement, this is very positive energy. We have, with this intentions here, there's an eight. So this is abundance flowing. Something is moving, uh, maybe repeating. You may have a few dates with someone as they try to get to know you. Hmm. That always tells me a diamond in the rough. I see clarity. Very nice. There we go. We have judgment. Knight of Swords. Yeah, someone wants to know if you're single. I feel someone's about to make a decision. Uh, they're becoming a little more decisive. Uh, five of Wands. Someone wants to know if there's competition before they move forward as well. Yeah, somebody wants to know if you're single. But I feel some of you too, with other aspects in your life, this is telling you you have everything that you need. Okay. Making plans for the future. Someone sees you this way. They see you as this. There's some kind of milestone event. Some of you may be going to an event. You may even be getting some kind of award. You may go alone. You may meet somebody. Yeah, I feel more this is a definitely a romantic uh, or someone who wants to know you more. Some of you, I mean, definitely I can see this event here. Some kind of award, a milestone. You're going to complete something. Something you may have planned for. Uh, you may be preparing yourself. <laughs> Ahead of time, always being prepared with the Nine of Pentacles so you have everything you need. Beautiful energy. I think you're going to meet somebody here. Eight of Pentacles, there's something to do with work. Some of you are planning. This could be work-related, an event. There could be an award for hard work done. I see someone is a bit of a perfectionist. Yeah, very hard worker, perfecting their craft. Putting a lot of attention to detail here. Some of you are going to uh, work out ahead of time what you're going to wear as well. Some of you are preparing for something uh, or somebody is in that energy coming towards you. But definitely there's an energy of being single, competition here. Uh, this could be a competitive event as well. There may be a judge there as well. So you may be competing for something. So I tell you, if you are, make sure you plan ahead. Make sure you work really hard. Be, be, be that perfectionist at that point. This could definitely work out for you. All right, Taurus. What does Taurus need to know about this overall energy? Taurus, there we go. Nice and clear. Yeah, speak your truth. Yeah, there is, a, I feel some of you, there's a judgment. It's positive to do with your work. Uh, this could be a person here, somebody who is a judge. I see a Libra energy, uh, some kind of award. So if you are planning something and something you're working on, you may be going alone to this. I do see a romantic energy, but I feel there's this discovery. Someone, Some of you may even be discovered at an event. Some, it, there's something being judged, some clear communication. I feel like there's definitely a success and a victory here. Yeah, I feel like there's this leap of faith. Interesting energy, moving forward to emotional fulfillment. Wow. Some of you are just playing it safe, though, when it comes to your love life. Like, there is, there may be some kind of a competition, too. Uh, I feel as though you need to kind of ground yourself and, and work out some of the details of a situation. If you're going to be judged, at some, there's some kind of competition 
uh, with a judge. <laughs> I also see the release of something. I feel that there's some of you could be having a reconciliation uh, with somebody or making a decision, not rushing in too fast, wanting some kind of clarity. Uh, you want to have some kind of success. You may want to know someone's intentions as well. Another scenario. Right, Taurus, one more. There we go. Uh, King of Pentacles. This could be yourself, another person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Somebody, this could be something about finances as well. I feel someone's making plans here. This, there's an energy of someone that coming in to take a leap of faith, taking a bit of a risk, moving forward, wanting to get to know you more. It's someone who's looking for a soulmate. Very, your intentions may be to play it safe, or it could be this person as well. There's this energy of uh, someone who's a little indecisive becoming more decisive. Uh, wanting to know more. Someone wants to know. Uh, you definitely want to make sure you know what someone's intentions are, but I see someone very practical, very grounded, making plans, someone very detail-oriented. They could be a Virgo, could be somebody that you work with. You may be competing for something at work, but I do feel it's possible. Uh, be careful how you judge a situation here as well. It's a good to speak your truth, to gain that clarity. Uh, being very wise here as well. But I feel there is definitely a competition for some of you uh, with judges. <laughs> some of you may have judged someone wrong or they judged you wrong as well. Something to do with your work. Some of you are planning something to do with work too. You could be the person planning some kind of an event, uh, working very hard at it. Uh, uh, definitely communicating clearly, speaking your truth making some kind of decision you could actually be the judge tell me about judgment yeah so gaining some strength and confidence i feel like you have a person here is making a decision uh, to let go of something and it looks like indecision becoming more decisive someone's heading in your direction here gaining some kind of strength and confidence or taming the beast within though this is that taming the beast within uh, staying strong being brave uh, to make a choice uh, somebody wants to come after you, but I do think they're looking to see if there's competition as well. Uh, there may be a little bit of conflict. Maybe someone's a little concerned there will be some kind of conflict. Uh, if you have competitors, tell me about the Knight of Swords. There we go. Yeah, you've got somebody who's in their head thinking, strategizing. Uh, this is balancing head over heart decision. Someone's tempering something, taming the beast. Uh, they're getting some kind of clarity. They want to know. Someone's learning something here too. They want to know the truth, the clarity in the situation. <laughs> See a little Sag, a little Leo energy. Yeah, someone's not really clear. Yeah, that there's competition. They're shining a light on the situation, looking for clarity. I feel like they don't. Uh, they're just in their thoughts right now, gaining strength and confidence. This is someone pulling back. Maybe they see you as someone different than the usual type or there's something different, maybe about the way you work, the way you dress, uh, different things about yourself. I see the King and Queen of Swords here, Taurus. It's about clear communication, making some kind of a decision, but this person is, they're holding back something, okay? Uh, you may feel like there's something a little off to do with their communication. But I do see someone looking for clarity. Uh, you've got someone looking for clarity. You have an emperor here uh, taming the, the beast, the need to control things, tempering that need to control everything. They're shining a light on upon something. Someone's getting ready to take action. <laughs> they see it was worth fighting for, and that's the thing. But this is someone who's used to probably being in control. They're toning it down, taming that energy. So we have someone who's thinking about justice, maybe marriage, doing the right thing, if you're the right person. So I see that Libra energy, again, some kind of justice. Wow. It's about balance, doing things in a balanced manner. We have two cards of balance here, balancing head over heart, making the right decision, doing justice, doing the right thing. Someone's not 100% clear about that. Uh, they're not 100% clear if you're the right person. They need to get to know more. Their intentions is to discover more about you, maybe even before they communicate or even approach you. Wow, Taurus. Nine of Pentacles. Why is this here? Clarity on this Nine of Pentacles. 
Yeah, someone weighing the pros and the cons, procrastinating, making plans, something to do with work. Something may seem a little off, you're a little different, uh, I feel. Yeah, someone wants to know if you're single, if you're seeing anyone. I also see someone here. This is also telling you, make sure you speak your truth. I do think there's going to, this is going to be a, a, an event. I see communication about someone doing something right, something about justice. Uh, make sure someone, uh, you know, just watch this energy because I feel like it kind of goes back and forth between you and this person, you see. Back and forth communication, something may seem off, a little bit of balance, uh, unbalance here. Some of you may have a choice between several people as well. You could have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You may have some of that energy in your chart yourself. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Aries. Definitely some Aries energy or maybe Scorpio for some. Eight of Pentacles. Why is this here? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's that truth, speaking the truth about work, about whether something will work or not. You want to know the truth. You want to know someone's intentions. Uh, you want somebody who puts in effort when this is your love life. You want somebody who comes in right. You're not going to put any more work into anything unless there's going to be this event, okay? So I feel as though there's, and again, that judging situation, this justice, uh, you could have somebody advising you as well, but I feel some of you, there's something off about someone here. You, someone may be juggling. Watch that energy. Uh, someone's procrastinating too, I feel. They're kind of procrastinating, looking for more answers. And I do feel this is someone who's used to getting what they want. And I do feel they need to figure out how to come in right, how to make something right, to do right thing, to do with this judging or this justice energy. Someone may actually see you as just right. But the thing is, is are they just right for you? You know, that's where I feel. Watch your words, temper your thoughts, temper your words at saying, you know, be wise. Uh, just about putting work into something. Um, something may not work or you're procrastinating something to do with this as well. So there we go. We have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Some of you are working very hard. You're speaking your truth. You're making some kind of a decision. This could be the other person making the decision about yourself, Taurus. You could be the King of Pentacles, working very hard, focused on your money, your financial future. Now, there's something really uh, interesting here. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? What is this communication, this wisdom to do with an event? Ah, I want to know if someone has secrets. You want the truth, maybe something hidden, some things that you don't know. You want the truth, nothing about the truth. There may have been something that's happened between you and a person. Maybe somebody, someone may have been juggling, but I really feel this is someone weighing the pros and the cons. They're not sure if they should come towards you or if you're the right person, but I also feel like you're judging someone. There's something about something off. Someone's seeing something differently. They're pulling back and looking at... Uh, something here to do with this strength, to do with justice, doing the right thing, finding balance. Hmm, interesting energy. A little more on the moon. This is generally secrets, mystery, confusion, a little bit of fear, possibly, uh, things being hidden. It's also romance. There could be something about romance here. Yeah, this is about investing in something here, taking your time, being patient. It could be yourself or this person investing in something you're not investing in secrets mystery or confusion that's what i feel you're speaking your truth or this person is like i feel we got the queen of swords here twice and the king of swords some of you yeah there, there's a little bit of confusion or a little fear not so sure if you want to invest or something hidden there's more that you need to know you need to know what someone's intentions are where this is going some of you are working hard you're actually working your way towards this king of pentacles you're making plans for the future you may be in charge of the finances uh, preparing some kind of event as well there's a lot happening here and then i see this yeah so i feel there's definitely i see a gemini energy Possibly I see a Virgo energy for some. I feel there's this weighing the pros and the cons. Some of you could be weighing the pros and the cons between two people. You may have two people. Uh, could be past energy or you may have two people you're crushing on. You're not so sure about one person. 
Uh, there's also this energy of a little fear of investing in someone who may have children. So be a little cautious there about any kind of manipulation. Be very wise here, okay? You have all the tools you need to manifest what you want. But I feel there's some kind of mirroring, whether it's two people who mirror each other. Uh, two pe it could be some people, two people competing for you, or there's a competition with two people who are uh, very much the same. Something to do with the justice and judgment. <laughs> yeah, gaining wisdom, being wise, being very smart. Uh, I see somebody who likes to have a very deep conversation as well. So it's possibly a Gemini. I know Geminis, Libras, uh, air signs definitely like to have very deep conversations. Uh, there's definitely something emotional here about investing in something, investing your emotions in a situation. Maybe some of you are single parents, you're not so sure. Uh, you could be comparing someone with a uh, future person with the past. They may mirror each other. They may have similarities. But there is going to be an event, something you're manifesting. <laughs> wow. Or they are. It could go either way. Yeah. Wow. You have all the tools you need. I feel like there's someone here who wants to know more. They want to, before they come in to manifest this, all the tools they need because this is a milestone. It's going to be a very big deal if it's not an event. But I, I definitely see uh, this milestone being something very big, okay? There's some kind of award at the end of this. You're playing it very safe or this person's intentions is to play it safe. They're looking right at this. It's kind of cute. <laughs> someone playing it safe here. I see you looking right up. This is you looking at them or vice versa. Uh, I feel it's probably your energy being this is your reading Taurus where you're playing it very safe as to do with someone's intentions. And I feel it could be them too though because I'm whenever I see this back and forth when a reading starts to do that. This is a back and forth weighing the pros and the cons comparing situations. Some of you may not be sure. You may decide you want to be stay single. Uh, maybe you're a single parent. You're not so sure. Okay, if someone has everything you want. But I see this magician. I, when that magician shows up, I see it a lot of time as mirroring. Uh, two people who mirror each other. In fact, like if you have a Virgo or a Gemini energy around you, uh, Taurus, they may mirror each other. Someone may remind you of someone from the past. Uh, there may be mysteries, confusion, or maybe there's someone here. It's possible you may have someone who's keeping secret that they have a child or vice versa. Wow, yeah, there's this some kind of success, taking a leap of faith, reflecting on something from the past before you take a leap of faith, making sure someone isn't just looking for attention. It's about taking a risk, going off on an adventure. Someone here is looking for a soulmate, though. This is an energy of walking away, setting yourself free, moving towards one person, towards another. You may make a decision, or it's this person going through this. Someone might be juggling or comparing you with someone from their past. They may see you differently, or you're just different than their usual type. They're in their head about this. This balancing head over heart, emotions, something very tempting. This person's trying to strategize how to tempt you, <laughs> possibly. Yeah, and then we also see this cycle ending. Some of you are walking away, setting yourself free from someone who maybe manipulated you in the past. They may have children. They may have kept a secret that they have children. Uh, keep an eye on that as well. Uh, there could be someone missing you, reminiscing as well. Some of you may have a new crush. You may be comparing this person to someone else. But there is an event. This is a big deal uh, to you anyway. And I actually feel like it is here. Like I feel there's that King of Pentacles. You may have two people who have this King of Pentacles energy. So I do feel like you're making some kind of choice or some kind of decision. Who's a good fit in your life? Who's right for you? Who isn't? You may even be wondering if you should just stay single. <laughs> Okay, so I do feel a bit of confusion uh, here, but I do see this, someone with a little bit of an ego, taking a leap of faith, leaving that ego behind, one last look over their shoulder. Someone wants things to go in their favor. They're strategizing how to go about things right, how to make things right, thinking about commitment or marriage, if it's right for them as well. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Some of you are definitely focused on, on something to do with money, finance, and career. Working very hard. This could be somebody you worked with. Some of you may have a boss. Some of you may be this King of Pentacles energy where you're working very hard. You're planning something in the future, an event. 
okay? Uh, you may be procrastinating, weighing the pros and the cons about how to go about it, or even going to some event single, going alone, okay? Uh, there may be a couple people there interested in you. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. There we go. Uh, so there is an offer, a seed, something going. Somebody wants things to go in their favor. They're strategizing. <laughs> They're going to maybe try something different, not being so much in control that I feel that just that they may not be telling you everything. Just be a little bit careful that you know what their intentions are. I'm not sure they're 100% clear or they need to know you more. They need to discover what your intentions are as well. Oh, yes, that back and forth procrastinating, unable to make a decision, sort of just, you know, sitting there. I feel like it's heavy procrastinating. Yeah, someone's making you an offer. Some of you, it's a job offer that's going to bring you a lot of abundance. You may need to uh, know more. Uh, I see possibly uh, two bosses. You may be comparing a one boss to another making this decision, uh, but I kind of feel like it's the other way around. So I see this offer, I see this abundance, something very creative. So someone is definitely seeing you as the empress. They see you as this wheel of fortune. Uh, they may offer you something. So, But I think you're going to play it safe. You're going to stay in this empress energy, very grounded, very practical, very sensible. You know, it's an energy of knowing what you want. You're just staying in this energy. Uh, some of you are starting a new job. If you are and you're walking away from one uh, where you're, maybe not getting the attention, the accolades that you desire, uh, maybe you're not getting an award, maybe you've been judged wrong and you may end, a, end one job and go off on another. Someone here may have a bit of an ego as well. So just watch your ego. Don't take a leap of faith. Your ego could be holding you back or somebody else's is. But I see this Two of Cups energy, Taurus. <laughs> Two people here, a little e a bit of egos. I do see a soulmate connection. Someone is, is ready to take a leap of faith, uh, to set themselves free from, they, someone may be setting themselves free from another person or just their ego, just pushing it aside and going for it, you know, hoping for the best. Eight of Cups and Two of Cups is Ten of Cups. It's emotional fulfillment. I feel like things are about to start going in your favor. Now, whatever decision you make, I feel like it'll go in your favor. You're going to be very wise, very sensible uh, here with that Queen of Swords. If you are not the Queen of Swords, you feel like you are the King of Swords and you know how to flip this energy, you can flip it, you see? Empress energy, yeah, you're playing it safe. You're not 100% sure. I do feel like you could be comparing this somebody new that you meet at an event with somebody from your past. They may have some similar uh, qualities. If you are feeling confused, make sure you speak your truth. Ask them what their intentions are. You're not settling for mystery, confusion. You are not investing. Uh, I feel as though uh, there's this patience. Somebody here is actually waiting for the right time. It's all about divine timing. Maybe it's because they have children too, you know, but I feel there's this manifesting. It's something you could be manifesting as well. Like I feel like you got a couple people here with that Mercury energy. I see a lot of communication, a lot of thinking, a lot of uh, deep thoughts, uh, deep emotions. Yeah, look at this. Somebody is discovering something about uh, whether you're single, whether you're free. If you're a good partner, they need to get to know you more. If you're just right, there's some kind of justice. Someone actually sees you as just right. I feel like you've got someone who's about to make a decision to offer you. Uh, they, they, they see you as this wheel of fortune. Uh, it's a seed being planted. They may give you something quite valuable as well to, uh, I feel like, to impress you. Uh, they're dressing for success. I feel like if you go out to an event, you are going to dress for success. I do see two people getting together, talking, communicating, seeing eye to eye. I actually see both of you are definitely ready for an adventure. You're ready for that leap of faith. But if you just watch that ego, it may be holding you back a little bit. Now, some of you are setting yourself free or someone is from someone else. You're going to meet somebody here. You or them are going to make a decision here. So I like this. Someone's looking for a partner, whether they're stable, reliable, financially stable. Someone needs to get to know you more. Make sure you know what their intentions are. Make sure they're a partner, someone you can count on. Uh, it's an energy of they need to come in just right. They need to be balanced. They need to play fair. 
You don't want anybody who uh, doesn't tell you the truth or just wants everything their way. But I think you got a person who's thinking that way. It could be a Libra, and I feel a Gemini energy along here, which is kind of interesting. Wow, Taurus. Yeah, some of you are going to reject somebody. Uh, definitely, I feel like it's going to be a shock, a surprise to somebody. I, I feel you're going to be doing the rejection. Uh, I don't feel like it's this person. I feel like it's yourself. There's someone here who may have children. Maybe they manipulated you in the past. They were secretive. Uh, something to do with children or a child. Or, or just, you know, somebody who kind of kept you waiting patiently. But I feel like your investment didn't pay off with this person in the past. You didn't speak your truth. So I got to be honest. I feel some of you may have Gemini in your chart. But I feel as though you're going to end a situation here. Uh, there's some kind of an epiphany. Uh, something's going to happen suddenly. You're going to make a very quick decision. Uh, you're going to. I feel whatever you've been procrastinating about, it's all. It's going to come to fruition here with this milestone. It's an event. It's going to be a big deal. But I feel as though some of you are going to meet someone new. There's going to be all this instant chemistry. Uh, so you you may reject someone, but some of you I do feel aren't sure either. So trust whatever it is. Like if you're feeling like you're having this epiphany and you meet someone, you may compare them to someone from your past. Like you feel like someone here may have missed an opportunity with you. Massive epiphany as well. But I actually feel like you may reject this person. Maybe they manipulated you in the past, but for some reason they're seeing you differently, uh, seeing things different. They actually have discovered or see that you could be a good partner. But I'm not so sure here. I feel like you're afraid to invest with this person. They may have a child from another person or something like that too Whew. yeah speak your truth what your intentions are you're staying in your empress energy uh, i feel as though yeah see you want to make sure that somebody isn't rushing in rushing out uh, you want somebody who's a good partner. So there is someone here who's burdened by a situation. Something may be bothering you. Uh, you may be concerned this person just wants to rush in uh, and rush right out again. But I feel there's some kind of enthusiasm here. The end of a burden of some sort here. Some of you are looking for a partner, someone who's responsible, not somebody who rushes in and out, uh, doesn't pull their weight. So I can see a lot of energy here where you're comparing people or you're procrastinating. Uh, but I have to be honest, I feel there is a person here. Now, they could be anyone, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, uh, energy, maybe even a Vir yeah, Virgo, um, or just that energy, that magician. I actually feel that you're going to make a really big deal. Something is going to happen suddenly. You're going to make a decision um, to reject someone. But I actually feel like this is someone who uh, is thinking about this reconciliation. They're trying to gain the strength and the confidence to come towards you to communicate uh, something to tempt you. They may be tempted to manipulate a little bit. So be a little bit careful, you know, pull back and look at them. Are they really right for you? You know, maybe this is somebody you had feelings for at some point. But I actually think that, you know, they're having an epiphany. They missed an opportunity. Someone's definitely missed an opportunity. But I still don't think you're going to go for this one particular person. I actually feel like you're going to set yourself free. You're going to go off on an adventure with a new person or another person. And I do think it'll go in your favor, okay? Someone sees you in a favorable light. Uh, they're heading towards you. It could be someone who's walked away from you before or you've walked away. Uh, but I honestly feel you're moving away from one person. I do think you may have had feelings for them. You may be friends with this person still. Uh, but I think you're reflecting on the past before you take a leap into anything. Make sure things do go in your favor, that you're getting what you want here. Uh, make sure this person isn't just rushing in and out. I see a lot of physical uh, energy, somebody taking action, feeling enthusiastic, but they're burdened by something. Make sure they're responsible, they behave in a responsible manner. Could be someone who gets a lot of attention because they're financially stable, you know, successful. But it's also an energy of somebody who has an ego. They get a lot of attention, whether they have money or not, okay? Uh, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I, I just think that some of you are going to start getting a lot of attention. Don't just take a leap of faith. Don't take a risk. 
but I do feel one person is about to take a risk yeah so there is definitely somebody who may be not responsible they may be dating other people um, someone has some burdens here uh, I feel just I would be cautious I see an event some kind of burden is about to end but you're going to play it safe and that's where i feel your biggest message and just play it safe if you need to procrastinate weigh the pros and cons make a decision it's telling you to pull back make sure you know exactly what you're doing uh, what this person's or persons i feel there's two people here uh, and if you are unaware of two people then you are going to reject somebody you're going to shock this person i think they're going to be shocked that you're not going to go for it because i actually feel there's somebody who always kind of gets what they want but i don't think they're going to get you you know how to handle this with the empress energy you get that offer see someone's planning to offer you something and i do feel there is some kind of date some kind of get together you may even have a couple okay yeah wow watch out for gossip things like that there may be something you heard that's bothering you about this person they may rush in and out of a lot of relationships uh, make sure they do behave in a responsible manner you can rely on them you want someone who has your best intentions right that's intentions as well do they have your best intentions at heart i know you do i can see that taurus uh, and i do see the heavy libra energy whether you have it in your chart or not that's the energy you're in you want someone who comes in right i think you'd rather kind of stay single you have everything you need uh, with this empress energy if you have another job offer it's going to go well it's going to pay well somebody may see the potential the possibility of hiring you as well uh, they see you as that wheel of fortune someone who can create and build something they see you full of adventure enthusiasm as well uh, you pull your weight um, i feel some of you pull your weight in a job too you're releasing yourself from one job uh, there may be gossip kind of conflict people there that don't pull their weight okay some of you have dated a lot of people who don't pull their weight they just rush in and out you're not interested in that you're staying in the empress energy uh, so beautiful all right taurus crazy message for you let's see what the outcome of this is let's see where this is headed for taurus yeah there's definitely an event there's people colleagues some of you this is a work situation some of you it's friends and family some of you have some friends family that don't pull their weight if you're thinking of hiring someone who's a friend or someone in your community you may know who it is they may just kind of rush in and out they may not they may be someone who rushes their work they don't pay attention to detail so watch that don't rush through your work be very detail oriented if it's yourself but if you are hiring somebody uh, make sure they do pull their weight okay they're not just rushing uh, full of enthusiasm but then they leave the burden and the responsibility upon you when it comes to work friends and colleagues yeah there's definitely something to do with an event uh, something to do yeah there may be some kind of gossip deception uh, at an event there could be some kind of jealousy you may hear something be careful what you hear it may not be true uh, you may hear something about this person uh, I do feel like th there's something to do with this okay some of you it's a work thing some of you it's friends family you know, some kind of event there's things that need to be figured out but I do see some kind of deception someone may tell you about this person at an event they may tell you about something that's happened um, yeah it's hard to say it could go in so many ways this is the energy this is this milestone this event it's positive for you though I think you're going to reject this person who wants to um, I do feel they could be a Gemini some of you it, you know it's a Libra and Aries but I feel there's and I do feel there's you're comparing two people I feel like you may have the King of Pentacles twice Taurus Virgo Capricorn as well so like I said Mercury energy mirroring images two people who mirror each other uh, they could both be from the past they could be crushes it's hard to say yeah so you are ending a situation uh, you're very conscious about uh, everything you have to offer i feel like you're waiting in open arms for something but be aware of your uh, the way you conduct yourself as well okay this is conscious about that abundance flowing and uh, i feel like someone's ready to kind of open up but i feel as though uh, you need to be a little cautious of one person i i just feel they manipulate there was a secret a secret child uh, or maybe somebody's had a secret crush against you and they're afraid to be 
rejected. It could go that way. So don't assume everyone you're um, thinking about has some kind of secret child or uh, some kind of, you know, their manipulator because it can actually be someone who's manifesting you, someone who missed an opportunity. They may come in very suddenly uh, and really open up towards you or hoping that you're open. Uh, it could happen at an event, okay? But if it isn't an event, it's a big deal. But I do see the possibility of dating. Yeah, I see some of you are going to meet a new person at an event somewhere, somebody very supportive, uh, someone who pulls their weight. It could be through work or a work event, but watch out for gossip. Just take the time to figure out if this is actually true or not true, okay? So it's just telling you to play it safe. Just, I, I feel like you've got someone who's a manipulator here. You may have had someone who's manipulated you in the past about something. Someone said or something somebody did to get you to move away from them. Watch that energy too. It could be a friend or family member, a co-worker. I, I, it's a friend or co-worker more than likely. Okay, something to do with community some kind of get together yeah so there is this loving man mm -hmm. well, just watch out someone doesn't deceive you here too uh, but i do feel like there is you do have an opportunity you have to make a decision you may have to make a quick one too i hate to put the pressure on but my opinion would be take the time that you need you know just play it safe stay in that empress energy don't shower your abundance upon anyone until you know exactly what they want from you but uh, there is a loving man. There's one person here that's loving, a new supportive connection. I feel like you're going to meet someone. It could be someone who's crushed on you for a long time uh, and kind of kept it to themselves. Maybe they felt you'd reject them. I don't know. Uh, but I feel as though they're going to come in because they're afraid to miss an opportunity as well. So I feel there's some kind of travel movement. Somebody wants to get to know you more. I feel like you're going to grow closer with someone. Some of you are going to move away from somebody towards a new person. So take it as it resonates. Sorry it's confusing, but that's that back and forth energy and that wheel of fortune, you know, ending one cycle, walking away from somebody. They could be a friend. Some of you may have to leave a friendship. Um with someone who's maybe manipulated, I don't know, and just set yourself free and uh, move towards something more successful, or they are. Look at this beautiful energy. So just be careful of gossip. Um, people in your community, people in the work uh, that talk to you, uh, because I do feel there could be a, a someone who's jealous or just a bit manipulative uh, because they quite possibly want this person as well. <laughs> okay there could be two of you wanting this person's attention so little caution take care i wish you the best taurus and we'll see you soon